Hi! Academic Search Premier is one of the library's most often used general multidisciplinary databases. It has content from lots of different disciplines and in a ton of different formats. So let's take a look at how to search effectively within it. To get to Academic Search Premier, select Databases and Articles on the library homepage. A link to Academic Search Premier appears in two places on the Databases and Articles landing page. It is the first listed under A as well as listed under Research Starting Points. Select either one to get you to the database. If you are off campus, you will need to sign in at this point. On the initial search page, there are lots of options for limiting our search. But since we are not really sure what types of resources we are looking for yet, let's leave all of these unchecked. Let's search for girls and bullying. So enter those search terms into the search boxes and press Enter. Notice that it will give you a number of autofill options as you type in your search terms. Okay, so we got a good number of results with all different types of resources. The results are listed with the most recent first, though you can change that if you want to. A really common resource type for academic assignments is scholarly or peer-reviewed journals. So let's limit our results to just these types of resources by selecting that option on the left-hand side of the page. This narrows down our results list, but is still probably a few too many articles to be really manageable. If you want to narrow it even more, you can add a third search term. Maybe one of the subjects under a seemingly relevant article from the current results or limit by date. I think limiting by date sounds like a great idea. So let's limit to just articles from the past 10 years. Move the slider to change the date parameters. We can now also start to take a closer look at specific articles to see if they are truly relevant for our topic. To do so, click on the title of the article and read the abstract. You can also check out other articles with the same keywords to further expand your research. If the full text of the article is directly available through Academic Search Premier, you will see it on the left-hand side of the page. You can also use the tools on the right side of the page to print, email the article to yourself or others, grab a permalink to add to your notes, or create an automatic citation in a large number of citation styles. Just always remember to double check your citations before turning in your project. In our initial results list, you can also limit to just articles that Academic Search Premier has the full text of on the left hand side of the page. This is a great tool if you are pressed for time, but should only be used sparingly. This is because Academic Search Premier searches not only its full text collection, but a large number of other databases as well. For results from other databases, it will not show full text access, thus really limiting your research. Notice how many fewer articles are in this results list and how they may not have as much to do with your topic. You will see all of the limiters that you are using here on the left hand side of the page and can get rid of one or more by selecting the X. So what are your options if you find an article in your search and read the abstract and it seems perfect for your topic, but it doesn't have a direct link to the full text either as a PDF or an HTML? Well, let's take a look and see if the library has access to the article through a different database. To do so, select the Find It at PSU link on the upper left hand side of the page, or underneath the brief record in the results list. This brings us back to the library catalog and looks to see if we have access to the article through a different database. And indeed, we do. So then just select the link in the online access box and voila, there is the full text of the article. So there you have it, how to find and access resources using Academic Search Premier. Always remember, if you're getting stuck, just ask a librarian for help.